Hi guys, my name is Chris Hansen, and today I'm going to work through a few feelings of how I start the downstream with driver and irons. Okay, Chris, so let's start with iron. What are your triggers? What are your feelings downstream wise? Yeah, so for me, this, this is 7 iron. Um, my tendency is always to get a little bit inside, a little bit closed. So for me, I try and fight that, and for me, it just feels from the top of the swing that I'm keeping the arms and the club head outside the path. Trying to get it in front of me quicker, feel like I'm hitting a fade. And for most people, they're going, whoa, I don't want to feel that. Yeah. So, yeah, most people, I guess, their natural path is that way. Yeah. Which for me, with driver is, which is the strange thing. Um, but yeah. So, you see two differences between iron and driver? Yeah, massively, yeah. Yeah, and that was quite a thing for me to, a sort of light bulb moment. For me, driver, I'm trying to hit, kind of feel inside up. Iron, I'm trying to kind of hit. Down, down, left on it really. Okay, hit it away for us. Now so, let's have a look at. Okay, yeah, let's have a look. See what, see what we've got in the bag today. This is what it feels like today. <laughs> okay, so for me, like I said, my tendency is to get path a bit inside. So for me, straight away, path was good there, but that did feel quite outside. So, would your shot on the golf course be very much trying to play a fade? I'd certainly, obviously, that one there, face is obviously a little bit short. It's not picked it up, but yeah. For me, I feel like I'm trying to fade everything, um, but I hit pretty straight really. There's not much shape on it. That's interesting because like people probably watching this video going like we're looking for a downswing feeling. Straight away you're sort of associate everything with your downswing to a shot. Yeah. As opposed to most people, I feel it in the lower half, feel this, feel that, yeah. feel this here. Is that something that you've always been down, is that something you've always done? I, I, I feel I've been quite, I guess, fortunate that I've never been that technical. Yeah. So even though I do use numbers and things, it's always been a feeling. Um, I've never really been like, where does the club go? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? For me, it just, it just has to feel over here somewhere, out, outside the line. Never, like, I'll struggle to put a swing on it today where number goes probably two or three left. It'll always be probably one, maybe two max yeah. left, but that will be a, a really big thing. How do you find that being like, from day to day, because we all wake up differently, we all wake up with different, we might feel better one day than we do yeah. the other. How did you feel that was play on tour using feelings? I guess most people are in that sort of same space, but do you write them down? Do you log them? Yeah, I, I always, I guess, I, I, I didn't log so much my numbers and path numbers, it was always performance based, yeah. really. Um, I guess a lot of my practice was that feeling, I'd stick an alignment stick down pretty much straight on the target, just trying to shape, feel like I was shaping it around that stick. Um, you know, you get the odd stick at the back just to, just to exaggerate that feeling, just to, yeah. something there to stop me doing the bad move. Um, but I think the only bad thing I would probably do is I'd wake up one day and it just get too inside the line. So, so you almost got to watch, you can't go. Yeah, I think you, you, you soon see that off, off ball yeah, quite value as well. As a good player, you, you yeah. two or three shots in the range, and I don't feel a little bit this way yeah. today. And, in the technology that we've got, you used to, you did, you mean we've got GC quad here, but you actually had trap man when you were yeah. playing on tour, didn't you? Yeah. And was that something that you used to go right? I feel this is what my feelings are. I've got this down. This is what it's coming out like, and sort of get you back to your balance. Yeah, I would just, I'd get it on. I'd see where the numbers are. I'd see what the shots are doing, and it'd just push me in the right direction. And then I wouldn't look too much at it. I'd be hitting more performance based shots yeah. and just the old check up my coach might be stood there and go oh, you're just going to be inside again but I'd soon see that ball flat as soon as I got a bit inside yeah. it got a bit flat as well and that's really interesting I think the thing so far from this video I want you to get out of this is how a very good player is not feeling too much technically I mean you obviously had times where you do feel more technically than others but you're using a shot to help dictate how you start the down swing yeah definitely yeah, yeah. so how does this differ with driver because We've done a test and to go and check them out, uh, a <laughs> bit of a well, bit of a procession. <laughs> um, how does this differ with driver for you? Yeah, so for me with driver, which again obviously like for me, I'm hitting the ball on the up with driver, and obviously that's like your iron swing there was seven down to seven iron, so probably I would say a pretty decent number. So with driver, obviously people talk about maximizing, so they're pushing iron lines up more on the up out of the launch. That's higher. something you always found pretty easy to do. No, I was. Seven years ago, it would have been, I was minus two with driver. It's pretty much where I am right now. <laughs> and it took me a, probably a full year to get that anywhere remotely near plus two. Okay. Um, and so it probably added 20 yards though. Back in the that's back. crazy. Yeah. yeah. 20 yards. Yeah. Which is oh. massive on tour. Like, instead of strokes gained, you're going from hitting a five iron to hitting an eight iron. So 
Oh, massive, massive, massively, yeah. Holes. Yeah. So with that in mind, like obviously I try and hit it on the up, but for me with driver, my <laughs> the frustrating thing is my bad shot driver path will go like three and four left. Which a lot of people I think will relate to right now. Yeah, massively, yeah. And I'll just go that way, I heel strike it, and my bad shot will be that. So for me, I'm trying to really feel from the top that it feels really inside that way, and that's my exaggeration. So you're almost trying to feel a little bit underneath, a little bit flippy. Yeah, it, yeah, it feels like a big inside toe hook. But that is my feeling. You know what, hit one here, Chris, and we'll, we'll get this in slow-mo, and, and it'll just be good to show people what your yeah. feeling is versus what the real is. So where Chris is like, we should look different. <laughs> we should look different. <laughs> so I'm going to try and feel like a big inside, inside hook here. And it'd be interesting to correlate this yeah. to club path numbers and everything as well. And I'm guessing path would be zero. That's might crazy. even still be on the outside. And you're feeling like yeah. under here. Yeah. So let's try really feel it. So I'm standing a bit further away from it. Feels inside. Feels sort of inside there as well. Zero point five, yeah. Zero point five. I mean four point seven on the up. Plus so, speed one fifteen, is that Yeah. I've had it up to I've had it up to 122 on here, which for me was pretty impressive. And I didn't think I'd ever get to that. Um, but yeah, again, I, I, there's no spill there, but I'll spin it at around 2,000. That'll be probably me, really. Yeah, so yeah. I do get quite decent numbers out of it. But yeah, that felt for me like a big inside draw, and it was pretty neutral. So what's one of the drills? I mean, you mentioned a line that stick here. We've got one here. Yeah. Like, what what did you sort of feel to do that? It's still 0.2 left. Yeah, so I really necked it, but there's a little bit of anxiousness hitting it well, at definitely. full speed. But I think that just shows for me that feels really, really inside. It's a, it's a great way to try and feel the opposite to what you're doing. I think a lot of people will feel like they probably don't know their tendencies enough to sort yeah. of direct themselves. So, like, just running through what you do here as coaching, you do a bit of balance of technical but mainly like performance based, don't you? Yeah, I'd just split it down. I'd let the student warm up for um, 15, 20 shots and take some numbers without them really thinking about it. Then you put a technical element into it, what they're trying to change, probably a path Would that be base. something like this though? Would that as technical as it probably get? Like Yeah, yeah, we would really. Um, I mean, I might help them get into a position, but that's quite a nice reference for a lot of people. Sometimes it's maybe easier to put something on the floor here, so it's not behind, just yeah. to change path. And the big one for me is I'm sticking a line a lot of time in the ground here. Yeah. So again, going back to target, yeah. being like your key and your trigger. Actually, naturally, people see that, and if you say to them, someone who slices it, I, I wouldn't have it directly straight, I'd have it a little bit left to straight. Yeah. And I'd say, can you start the ball right with it? And automatically, they have to do something. Like, a lot of nice and body movement, yeah. yeah. So naturally, it gets them to do something to move it that way, and react to that. So I've said this for a while now, like, if I, I, I if I got a slice of something that will come to me for lesson, like well, unfortunately in much we can just walk out and get behind some trees. I'll yeah. get them to get some iron shots and I'm like, okay, we'll hook it around that tree. And straight away they'll be like, Oh no, I have to do that. I do it yeah. all the time, I get myself out of trouble and I hook it round. Well, it's the same thing. And but I think the thing is it's it's then having the trust to take that movement to the golf course. Yeah. So that's why I think having some performance element to it, like I had a guy who he, he was swinging it really nice, changed his numbers really well, put him into a test, scored so zero out of five. Yeah. And that was in a closed environment, doing, 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 it, doing yeah. a very, very simple test. So how does he expect to go on the golf course and do it? That's, for me, the big thing. Yeah. Well, Chris, thanks for that nuggets of information. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, enjoy it. Yeah. And guys, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. That's that one down there. And 2020 tour, if you want to keep up to date with what that is, by the time this video comes out and the first event will be around the corner, um, so head over to the website and I'll put a link down below to see all the latest scores.